hi YouTube and random people on the internet. So I decided to do another makeup haul video of everything I bought in the last like, we'll say like month and a half. Um, I'm going to start with Lush. I'm a huge Lush fan. If I was made of money, I would probably invest in my own Lush store just so I can try everything. But, unfortunately, I can't do that. So the first thing that I grabbed was the Celestial Facial Moisturizer. It is white. Smells really nice. Um, crafted with sensitive skin in mind, this gentle blend of cocoa butter, vanilla water, and almond milk keeps skin hydrated, soft, and glowing. Um, my skin sucks and Lush is doing wonders, so I will continue to buy their products. The second and last thing that I got from there, besides obviously re-upping, you know, the products that I do like, is this bubblegum lip scrub. I wear lipstick all the time, so I'm constantly, you know, using this in the morning and then chapstick under my lipstick all the time. This is what it looks like. Obviously, I've been using it. it smells like bubblegum, and you can eat it. It's kind of freaky to me because you're scrubbing off the dead skin on your lips, so I don't like to eat it, but I've definitely tried it, and it's edible. <laughs> it tastes good. <laughs> um, next thing I grabbed was my favorite lashes, Ardell um, and Demi. I don't wear fake eyelashes all the time. My eyelashes right now are real. Just like for events, if my job has like a party or something, or if it's like a crazy sneaker release and I want to look extra popping. What else? Um, I grabbed a blush, illuminator, and bronzer all in one. Um, my skin just started being awesome. So prior to this, I never wore blush, bronzer, or any of that because I thought that it was just going to draw attention. So, this is what it looks like. I have yet to try it. I will eventually. And it is in the color chiffon. Let me see if I can kind of swatch it. And this is what it looks like on my hand. That'll be a new experience for me. I don't contour. I don't do any of that. I would probably just keep it light. I feel like girls crazy contour their face. It looks stupid. Sorry to all the makeup ladies out there. Um, I grabbed the NYX gel liner, obviously in jet black. Usually I use liquid. I use this one, which has a little tiny brush to put it on. I haven't, like, this kind of brush. I haven't legit used like a brush like I would for my eyebrows to put liner on, so this should also be something new and interesting. Um, I grabbed this like pack of NYX uh, mascara. Not a fan. They never disappoint, but I just I use Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara or the Essence. Um, Lash Mania, which is great. That's the cheapest mascara I've ever had, and it is one of my favorites, if not my favorite. So, there's the NYX Stacked. I'll show you what the wands look like for each. This is what the wand looks like. This one is the NYX XXL. a bigger one. I feel like this is probably the one that I would use the most if I actually planned on using these, which I probably won't. Uh, Voluptuous. And the last one is Curvaceous. It was super cheap, I just figured I would try it out. Whatever. Um, now on to all the lipsticks, lip glosses, my favorite. Um, what I'm wearing right now is definitely my favorite thing currently. The Siren. And 
it's NYX matte. I'll swatch it, even though it's on my lips. Sorry, I went to the Story So Far concert and uh, pretty much got my ASB. This is what it looks like. Obviously, this is what it looks like on. It's like the perfect, like, wine stained, but still, like, vibrant and red. Let's see what else. Everyone's in the like gray, purple, and like lilac lately, so I figured I would try this. And this is the NYX High Voltage Lipstick in Playdate. I haven't worn this yet. This is what it looks like. I grabbed another high voltage lip color in Dahlia. It's pretty dark. Because, of course, Transylvania, Wicked all like the dark awesome shades are always sold out but I walked into NYX the other day and they had both of them so I meant Ulta not NYX <laughs> fuck this is Dahlia um the matte lipsticks are probably my favorite so I grabbed two more this one right here which is in the color Whipped Caviar. Sounds fancy. It's like a lighter and then I grabbed this which is in the color Pale Pink. It looks like pinkish but it's also like kind of coral color. Not something I would normally wear but that's it right there. I grabbed two new soft matte lip creams, Transylvania. I'm running out of room. Oh well, I'm making a mess. This is Transylvania right here. And I grabbed this one, which is London. As I said before, I don't know why, but I put like matte lipstick on or like matte lip gloss and then I'll put a gloss on top of it. It defeats the purpose, but I like layering what's on my lips. So this is London, this one right here. And the last two items that I grabbed are one is a butter gloss and one is an intense butter gloss. So the butter gloss is in the color Raspberry Tart. right here and the intense butter gloss is spice cake I love this <laughs> um, so happy I'm not going anywhere after this this is a mess it's right here so basically that completes uh, my cosmetic haul for the last like month and a half um, I'm trying to basically only use products that are vegan and or cruelty free. I'm still learning, still experimenting. Um, I would have tried to buy Lime Crime, but unfortunately with the scandal and everything, I'm just not going to put myself at risk. I like money and don't want mine to be taken without products. Um, if you have any suggestions of brands that I should try, please leave in the comments below. Um, feel free to like it, subscribe, whatever you have to do. You don't like it, don't watch it. Bye, YouTube.